Welcome to Electron Online, and in this example, we were given the angle and the adjacent side, and we're supposed to find the opposite side and the hypotenuse. In this case, we have the sides labeled A, B, and C. Now let's see if we can solve this equation without labeling the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. So here we have the angle theta right here, and there's my angle symbol. Here's my right angle, and so this here becomes the adjacent side, this becomes the opposite side, and this is my hypotenuse. So, since we're looking for the opposite side, B, we're going to use the sine. And the sine of theta, by definition, is equal to the, uh, the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. I always like to write that, no matter what. So that way, at least I have my basic definition for the sine. Now notice, what is my opposite side? Opposite side is this side relative to the angle, which is B. So this is equal to the ratio of B divided by the adjacent side, oh, not the adjacent side, but the hypotenuse, which is C. Now, of course, I have a slight problem. I don't know B, I don't know C, so I can't solve for that problem. So I don't want to start with the sine. So maybe the cosine, because I know the adjacent side. So let's try this. So now we have the cosine of theta, and by definition, that's equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, the ratio of the length of the adjacent side by the length of the hypotenuse. Now, when I plug in what these are, the adjacent side is A, hypotenuse is C, so this is a divided by C, and A, we know what that is, this is equal to 4 centimeters, and I divided by C, now I have, and I know what the cosine, I know what the angle is, so I can now write this as the cosine of 50 degrees is equal to 4 centimeters divided by C. So notice, I only have one unknown C, I can solve for that, so I can write that C is equal to 4 centimeters divided by the cosine of 50 degrees, and now I grab my calculator. So 4 divided by 50, take the cosine of that, equals, and it's 6.22 centimeters. So C, which is a hypotenuse, is 6.22 centimeters. Now that I know C, I can go back over here and say I know C, I know the angle, so both of these are known, now I can solve for the equation on the left. Since I know I figure out, I need to figure out what B is equal to, I can write that B is equal to C times the sine of theta. C is known, 6.22 centimeters. I multiply it times the sine of 50 degrees, and that should enable me to find B. So I grab my 6.22, and I multiply it times 50 times the sine equals, and it's 4.77 centimeters. So B is equal to 4.77 centimeters. And now I have found B, I found C, and I solved the triangle. And that's how we do that. So in this case, we did not use, we did not relabel opposite side, adjacent side hypotenuse. But if you're not sure, if you feel more comfortable doing that, by all means, go ahead and do that. If you can get away with simply leaving it like this, realizing that this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse, you can go ahead and do it the way I, I did it. But notice that I always write the ratio definition for the sine, the ratio definition for the cosine before I plug in the other variables from my problem. And that's how we do that.